Welcome back to the Stephen and Sheep Metal Super 1 British Karting Championships. The Junior Rotax class is up next, usually one of the most competitive classes in karting. Let's have a look at some of the drivers I think will be at the sharp end this season. Harrison Thomas for KR Sport took the O-plate last weekend and is definitely on my radar. But if you want to bet on an outright winner in 2015, why not take a gamble? Tom Gamble. Driving the three-plate, he's my tip to take top honours in the class this season. Outside the seeded places, Jonathan Hoggard would have been a nailed-on favourite to take the Minimax crown this season, but has chosen to move into Junior Rotax instead a year earlier than I expected. I think that was a huge mistake. On a Minimax grid, everyone would be looking at him thinking he's who I have to beat. In the Junior class, Hoggard has to look around at others and think, now who do I have to beat? That dynamic is still fascinating though, and he is still definitely one to watch. Well, Minimax was crazy competitive. I'm predicting Junior Max could be even more so with Harrison Thomas and Oliver York on the front row of the grid. Jack McCarthy and Dean McDonald, Tom Gamble and Adam Smalley, Falk and Martin from Brown Nutley, and then Jonathan Hoggard, the man you tipped, Alan, in 12th position on the grid alongside Alex McRoberts on the starting grid. So watch him from uh, row six. And Miles Apps down in 23rd place as well. He's sure to be one to charge forward. Away we go. Much cleaner start off the front row of the grid, but out in front, Harrison Thomas has taken a good lead through the chicane for the first time. Very nicely done as they make their way through. No major dramas so far as they make their way to McCrae's. Is everybody going to get through cleanly? It is a very difficult part of the section. There's loading. Oh, that's Smalley and McDonald. They've come together and there's more contact further back. Pendlebury, Fulton, Davis. And I think Lamport was in amongst that lot as well. It looks like Ben Davis might be in some serious trouble here. I think his cart was very severely damaged on that first start. Let's see if we can have a look at it again, Alan. Classic loading, this is Smalley into the back of McDonald, but look at the pile of carts in behind them. Now they all get away with it, but here come the rest. Pendlebury, 29, 56, Lucy Fulton, Ben Davis on the 21 and 39. Daniel Lamport was involved as well. well the there is Lamport making up a move actually in St John, so he's still running. Yes, indeed. You can see the tyre-shaped hole in the side part of the cart there. The one who got the biggest uh, check into the side there, that was Pendlebury, and that That's is Davis. Ben Davis. Now, I just saw him being involved in a second incident at the back of the shot as they came over the little rise towards St John's. So, clearly, that's a terminal failure. New leader up to Idells. That's McCarthy who's hit the front there. Second place for York. Thomas down to third. Then it's Gamble and Falk battling it out for fourth position. Skelton. Oh, Martin and McRoberts getting very close together. And McRoberts actually losing a couple of places there. He now tucks in behind Jordan Brown Nutley in the 17. Out of the Stuart S's. So it is the four plate that leads it then, that's Sir Jack McCarthy. Now I was going to tip Jack McCarthy as one of my ones to watch this season, but I thought, you know what, I'll do it, I'll give him a break and won't mention him, the man from Keston, because every time I've mentioned him in the past as ones to watch, I've done it twice, his dad says, please don't tip us because we have a nightmare every time you do. <laughs> so I didn't tip him this year. And of course, he's out front. Absolutely. The commentator's curse in reverse is what we've got there. Oh, a little bit of a tussle there. That looked to me as if Cudlip just made a little bit of an attempt on Suleiman. It wasn't quite close enough. That was very nearly another loading move there. Just looking at Oliver York in second position. What a start to the season he's having. Struggled in Minimax last season. Oliver York had a sterling season in cadets the previous year struggled a bit last year but not struggling this year right in amongst it to win this championship he's actually holding very well against harrison thomas as well who's giving him tons of pressure mccarthy out in front though looking very confident in the early stages here fourth place still gamble fifth place still fox so those five carts starting to stretch out an advantage but josh skelton look he's trying to join the pain train isn't he he's trying to get on terms with these guys and he wants a ride yeah, he wants to buy a ticket on the train, can't quite get there at the moment, but he's going to get there sometime soon, I think. And these sort of five just ahead of Skelton, and Skelton well clear of the rest in behind. So they head down to the stewardesses one more time. Oh, McCarthy, sorry, Alan, locking up Big Star there. That was a rally cross power slide, never mind stopping for the stewardesses in a cart. Absolutely incredible. He just about manages to hold on to it, but that just shows you how much pressure these guys are feeling out in front. Just because you're leading, that means nothing. You've got to have the mentality and the composure to keep it together as Lamport goes uh, locking horns there with Dean McDonald again. 
again. Those two can't keep away from each other. Yeah, Dean McDonald well down the field. Obviously, we saw him get loaded up into the McRae's hairpin, so he's got a lot of work to do. Dean McDonald, I didn't mention him as one of my ones to watch. You see the cart skipping over this curve, coming out of the chicane, and that is the reason that curve is so high. If you don't run sprocket protectors, your chain will get ripped off. Absolutely, it's about the height and depth of a shoe, actually, that uh, curb. It's really, really steep. So when you're bouncing over it, you need to have uh, strength in the system. So it's very, very important to get set up absolutely spot on. Adam Smalley trying to make his way through the field, of course. Number 54 trying to battle his way uh, through the pack. But it is not easy when it is as close quarters as this. And that is Manuel Suleiman, the Mexican. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Out of the race then at Iredales. And that is... Uh, a Poor start, unfortunately, for the 2015 season as far as he's concerned. We didn't see what happened to uh, see why he's there, but the battle for the leader stepped up. Thomas has actually gone into second place, and that looks like fourth place man Gamble has been left out to dry. Down to fifth position, he's gone as York defends valiantly, and Falk has got through into fourth position. Here we go. Sliding through the Stuart S's, Tom Gamble still close enough if good enough, and of course we know that he is. We've said that before. Down to St John's, a right-hander, left-hander, Next one here is Sunny Bend, brings you out towards the paddock bend, the final turn, and the two leaders have a little bit of a gap now over the chasing bunch. They'll be trying to push each other away. Well, the last lap, I've been watching McCarthy's composure in the cart. He's wrestling with that cart to get it stopped for uh, the tighter apexes and turning in. He's throwing the cart all over the shop, just trying to get the cart slowed down and uh, turned in neatly. So the pressure is definitely on Jack McCarthy at the moment. Here comes Thomas having a look at Iredales. He doesn't make the move. Thomas won the British Open title here at Rowra last weekend, of course, hence why he's running the O plate on his cart. As we see, the five cart down the inside. He made that move, it looks like he has. That Zach Falk through the third place, is it? It is, I'm sure. Yes, it is. So Zach Falk through the third. Gamble's now in fourth place. Oliver York comes next and Skelton right on the back of York. Oh, this is looking like three pairs battling for position now because we've got a battle on for first, a battle on for third, and a battle on for fifth. And if they keep battling, they're going to tighten up once again. Keep an eye on the man in seventh place as well because I don't think uh, the chap running in seventh position is out of this fight either. That looks to be Adam Smalley having made his way back up into contention. So, if it, oh, that was a nice move. Skelton, decisive on the inside of York. Take that, Sunshine, hops and he moves over, up. Hops over the curb. Nice little move there by Josh Skelton. Not sure about track limits there, Jake. You know more about track limits than me. I'm oh, really don't get me started. Don't get me started on track <laughs> limits in uh, national grade karting. I think it's an absolute crime. But here we go again up the inside. That's back to third position for Zach Falk. Very nicely done as he makes the move. Oh, sorry, Zach Falk has been passed, I should say, by Gamble. They're having a great scrap for third position. And look in the background. Here's Adam Smalley. He's joined the battle. Smalley looks quick, doesn't he? Looks very quick at this stage. He could easily challenge for the top three the way he's running. And in eighth position, eighth position as well, co uh, coming along uh, in, along the back of the grid as well. That's Alex McRoberts. So he's getting into the mix as well. It's looking like we could have a six-cart scrap for third place here. Yeah, McRoberts moved out of junior TKM last season. I thought that was a bad move for him. We're defending, defending now. We're loading. We're defending. It's getting close into Iredales once again. And now there's a huge jostle of a position as Skelton drops to the back of the queue. Down to seventh place. Smalley's made his way through. It's Gamble from Falk. York. Then it is Smalley. And at the back of this train is Skelton. It is so tense for third position. And this is only for third position. Yeah, cracking race going on here. I was saying before about Alex McRoberts moving out of junior TKM. I thought that was a mistake last year. He should have stayed in. So I thought he would have been a, a real big runner in the junior TKM championship. Chose to move into the Rotax classes. He's going well today, though. And how about this? Tom Gamble has obviously decided to surrender his battle for victory. He's defending at this stage. Yeah, and there's a little bit of a tap, a tap there. That's got him wide oh, and through. Runs him wide. Now, if that's been seen, he will get penalised for that, Zach Falk. But if it's been seen, that's a oh, very and canny little tap. And, and York again. now goes up the inside and Gamble's losing places in a hurry. Smalley's through. Skelton's through. And it's not going to be too long before McRoberts yeah, gets that, through. Now, this is that little tap. Now, this is clever if you get away with it. But it's not if you get seen. Here's a little tap. Bang. Just enough. Lifts his rear wheels off the ground. That unsettles his cart. And Zach Falk says, thank you very much. Up the inside. I'll take mm. that place. Now, if the clerk sees that, he has to penalise in five place. That's the mandatory minimum penalty for contact. Oh, there's more contact. Oliver York, it looked as if he just got on the inside of Smalley and Skelton and shoved them a little bit wide there. Now, that's interesting. And look, the stewards did Straight spot it that time. On the radio. 
Looks like a marshal may have seen that. We're into the last lap. And as I said earlier on, if it's been spotted, the mandatory minimum penalty for contact where you make up a place is five places. Well, Charlie Cudlip just sets the fastest lap, but all that melee in the back of the field has actually brought several drivers into play here. Jonathan Hoggard's moved up. So too has Jack Martin. And right on the back of him is Jordan Brown Nutley. So they're looking for a good top six finish here if it all measures out their way it could still play out for a good finish for them McCarthy look at that into the Stuart S's full commitment full aggression on the turn in and look I think that's actually got him enough of a gap to seal this fantastic job from McCarthy Scott Snell is the leading rookie Ethan Ling is the leading privateer we haven't seen much of them today but they've done an absolutely cracking job to head home the field in their different disciplines but here comes McCarthy he takes the win and that's what it means to him absolutely fantastic job we're still battling here up the inside McRoberts he gets past Martin Martin's losing places McDonald through Skelton through so Martin losing three places on the final lap here at Sunny Bend they come across the line together very close indeed McCarthy seals the win from Thomas Gamble is third ahead of Smalley Hoggard Brown Nutley and McRoberts as York is given a five place penalty for that infringement. McDonald just beat Skelton over the line for ninth place. What a race! Yeah, it was a really good race, but it was so really, really tough out there. And um, I managed to come away with third. It was a great result for what we had. And um, I'd like to say a big thanks to A Motorsport, Steve Lake, my mechanic, Lewis Seville, my mum, my brother, and my little sister. Thanks for supporting me. Thank you. Harrison, you won the pre-final, started pole there, finished second, but uh, I know you'd be a little bit disappointed with that, but still a good start to the championship season for you, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm not too disappointed, but second is good for the first round of the championship, get some good points in, and championships are about scoring points to win, not just winning races and trying and going at, putting everything out to win them. So, yeah. Jack McCarthy, winner at Super 1. Now... I guess you're quite pleased that I've not tipped you this year because every time I tip you to win a championship, you have an absolute disaster. So I'm not tipping you in the uh, ones to watch this year and you win. Yeah, every, yeah, twice before you tip me and I've always ended up crashing. So, yeah, quite happy you didn't do that. And uh, just talk us through that race from your point of view. Well, I started on th three and I, I just overtook everyone I could and then just started pulling away, I think. Rotax class is serving us up a real treat here at Rowra. Let's see what the seniors can do back after the break.